use Math Type 6 with iWork 09, that is pages, keynote, and numbers. I have Math Type set up to not show shortcuts. It usually comes with that installed and ready to go, but I have disabled those to show you step by step how to do basic Math Type equations. First of all, let's start by entering a quadratic equation. You first of all want to set up your cursor to be right where the equation will be when you return the equation to iWork, or in this case, Pages. I have set my justification to be centered, and I'm going to insert a math type equation. The equation I want to use will be 0, I am typing this from my keyboard, negative 3x. I need a superscript to make an exponent. There's our superscript tool, squared. Now navigate out from your keyboard or you can click out of the superscript position. Um, minus 5x plus 2. That's a quadratic equation. Click here to return the equation to your document. And if it's too small, then grab that corner and make it bigger. All right. Now let's do the entire quadratic formula just for the exercise. And in order to keep the font in the quadratic formula about the same as the font here, I am going to copy and paste this math type equation. So there it's selected. Copy. Put my cursor where I want the next one to be. It's center justified. And from the edit menu or from the keyboard, paste. There it is. That's going to become the quadratic formula. Double click on it to open the equation in math type. It remembers it was a math type equation and it will open as a math type equation. I don't want any of this. I just want the quadratic formula. X is equal to. We did that from the computer keyboard. Now I need a fraction. So here's how I'm going to get the fraction. Um, negative B. I need the plus minus symbol, which is up here. Plus minus. Now I need a radical, which is in the same toolbox with a fraction bar. Square root of B. I need my exponent button again, or exponent tool. Squared navigate out of the exponent position and I am still under the radical minus 4ac. Notice how the radical stretches to accommodate all of that that's under the radical. Now I can use the tab key on my keyboard to navigate to the lower position. If I push it the first time it navigates out from under the radical. Push it the second time it navigates down to the denominator all over 2a. There's my quadratic formula. Close the window to return that to the document and notice that because I copied and pasted these this font is about the same size as that font. Next I want to fill in this quadratic equation with that data, the coefficients from up there. So that's selected I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it just for the exercise again and paste and double click on it to uh, begin to edit it. Now B is negative 5 so I can have double negatives like negative 5 or you can change that to just take the negative off so it's positive or you can be real picky and include that um, in parentheses. And I'm going to choose the parenthesis tool right there. There it is. Now I've got this whole thing, that's B, and I want it over here for this B as well. So I can copy it and I can select where I want it to, the part that I want it to replace and paste it. Minus four times a, a is negative 3, but again, I don't want 
that to be look like subtract 3, I want it to look like a multiply by negative 3. So I'm going to wrap that in parentheses again. C is 2, and that's not incorrect to just leave that 2 right there, but I'm going to be a little more clear and put a multiply button between those two, multiply symbol. And A again is negative 3. You can Oops, I just want that little piece, and please wrap it in parentheses. There's the data inserted into the quadratic formula. Close the window to make it show up in your document. Let me demonstrate something quickly about parentheses. So I'm going to go to my math type and insert a brand new equation. And something else you can do with math type is annotate as you go. You can do this before your mathematical equations or after. But if you do that, then choose the text button. So not this. And this font is different from the font that's in your document, but you can change those settings under the define menu. I'm not going to do that right now. I kind of think that if it looks different than the rest of this text, it helps the reader to see that this is set apart and applies to the math documentation, not to the rest of the document. Um, so I was going to demonstrate how to do a fraction, and this time I'm going to use uh, parentheses from my keyboard, and the fraction 3, and then tab down to the denominator, and then add the close parenthesis. Notice that looks really awkward. So um, I'm going to, let's see, am I still in, yeah, I'm in text. So now I want to be in text again. And now I'm going to start with my parenthesis tool. Then inside the parenthesis, I'm going to add a fraction and notice that the parentheses grows to create a fraction, 3 over 2. And I can even make a complex fraction if I want to. Select one part of the fraction, add another fraction tool, and let's just put a letter down there, X. And then when I close this, it returns to my document. And if I want to make it bigger, I can do that in the parentheses, stretch to accommodate my fraction. That concludes this particular uh, episode of Using Math Type.